Welcome back, Sagittarius, to your weekly love reading. <clears throat> this will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please keep in mind, energy is interchangeable. That means it can go vice versa, so cross-watchers are welcome. And this reading won't resonate with everyone, so take whatever fits and leave the rest, okay? We have Master with Open Up. So it looks like someone's starting to understand their feelings here. And uh, where there was control before on holding back, expressing emotions, it seems like they're learning how to open up here and wanting to actually use this technique and show their emotions. We have, I'm starting to understand our connection, okay, with... Uh, messages, travel, and communication. We have Mercury here. Uh, this could be residue from Mercury retrograde as well. Uh, looks like someone's wanting to communicate. You might be receiving a message here. Overall energy, we have the Nine of Cups. This is about wish fulfillment here, but as well as uh, simple pleasures, right? Uh, being content and happy uh, just right where you're at. Right? Her just, or wanting to be. Okay, so let's see, Sag, uh, what you're doing right now in regards to your person. We have the Knight of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, and the Four of Cups. I feel like you're a bit disappointed right now uh, where things stand. Feeling a bit lost, right? Uh, because things are just kind of off. Things are not matching up for you here. You're wanting more um, security and stability in this connection as well. Tell me about this Four of Cups. Uh, Ten of Wands. Yeah, this has been a situation. It's become, you know, very unclear to you. You know something's off. You know that it's just not quite right here. But you can't quite put your finger on it. You feel like the closer you get to kind of figuring out this person or how they act. This person... Yeah. They can come in and talk to you and be very uh, emotionally satisfying, right? They can make you feel like the Nine of Cups, really like you are their one and only. But it seems like it goes away as fast as it comes here. You're wanting more security. So let's see uh, what they're doing right now in regards to you. Three of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, Queen of Swords, and the Three of Cups. So they are definitely wanting to come forward and work with you, talk with you here. We do have th two threes. Could be someone else in the mix as well, a third party. Uh, but <clears throat> they're realizing that as much as they want to do this and kind of clear the air and let you know that they really do want to work on some things with you, um, they know that it's uh, not it's not very smart to do it right now, okay? That the time that they think will be perfect, it's going to come soon. Okay, but they do want to open up and uh, possibly send a message or um, call you here. Tell me about this Ace of Swords. <clears throat> Page of Swords, yeah. Kind of get a feel of where you're at uh, if you're still interested in them. Queen of Swords, Three of Cups, though, it's kind of like they know that, you know, things are kind of testy with you right now. Um, because of some past situation. So let's see what happened in the past. Let's see. What's happened in the past? Knight of Wands. Death card. Seven of Pentacles. So this person, as much as uh, they were, it seemed like they were in the beginning a little bit more passionate, a little more um, forthcoming with their energy. It seemed like they were more, a little bit more attentive. It seemed like as the cycle progressed, they slowly stopped giving into this connection as much. And they stopped investing in you. And you could feel it, even though they said that that's not true. And you possibly brought this up here in the Queen of Swords because they're viewing you as this. So even though you may have brought this up, they feel like, you know, that this is a situation where... They have to do what they have to do to survive, okay? And I mean it as like a metaphor. So there's something else blocking this. And the reason that they do this, like a strategy to them, 
Um, but you, this person, it just kind of where all of a sudden they fell off the map, right? Any intention towards you, passion towards you, any, any um, messages coming towards your way, it seemed like it just stopped. They stopped investing here. So tell me this uh, death card, Seven of Pentacles. Knight of Swords Hermit, yeah, they just fell off off the radar here. So Knight of Swords Hermit, it's like this stressed you out completely. You're like, where did they go? I don't understand. Last week they told me, you know, I was the love of their life or that they can't live without me. That kind of stuff. It doesn't have to be. I'm just giving you an example. Uh, but they just left. It's kind of like when you... You wanted to have faith and trust that they would be back and to believe what they say, but it's been a while here and it seemed like this has progressed to where the gaps between where they would communicate with you got worse and worse and worse. So to you, it seemed like very confusing and very upsetting and uh, honestly a bit depressing here with the 10 of wands uh, connected here because this became like, well, what it was it any of it real like what is going on with this person why are they doing this are they really being truthful in how they talk to me and what they said to me so let's see what the challenge is here two of swords eight of wands and knight of swords that this person's strategy is they would block the communication right it's not literally i mean for some it could be but this is more of like they just wouldn't make a decision, right? Uh, so their decision, which they thought was not making a decision, was actually making a decision by pulling back their energy, which means calling you less, contacting you less, um, and making you feel uh, very abandoned here, right? Not understanding what even is going on in this connection. I'm seeing a lot of like confusion here, right? Um, not really knowing any truth or any substance to this connection. And although it may have felt very real in the past, it seems like it's just non-existent now. And how does something just go poof? That's somebody's perspective here is it feels like they just like, what? How does that? It's like it never existed, right? Tell me about this Knight of Swords. Nine of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, seems like whenever they would come in, it would be out of the blue uh, and actually at an inopportune time because you were busy yourself and um, they wanted what they wanted out of you, you know, whatever they could get in the time being, which could have been just a stroke of their ego or uh, what have you. But the thing is, is this person does have a lot of emotion for you. They do. They do care about you here. Tell me about the Two of Swords. Two of Swords, Five of Swords. So, I mean, this was done on purpose. This uh, block in communication, it was a strategy uh, in order to win in this situation. Uh, tell me about this Five of Swords real quick. Ace of Cups. It was kind of um, this strategy to make you feel jealous, to make you feel um, <clears throat> like you needed them more, you know, to kind of get, get you hooked. Uh, it's a way of like a pull and pull and grab kind of technique uh, so that you would always want to try to gain their love so that they could keep you on the sidelines because I am picking up on a third party here and they didn't want to make a decision in this connection because they have two different things going on. Tell me about this eight of wands. Eight of wands, five of wands. Yeah, this was too much of a struggle, right? Uh, push and pull. Here we go. Um, this is like a very frustrating situation, okay? Because your point is not heard, no decisions being made, and you, it's very unclear what this person feels and what they're actually doing, what they're up to. All you know is that you feel um, alive with them, right? You love them dearly and you feel like, you know, Nine of Cups. You are their wish fulfillment as well as you feel like that or have felt like this in the past, right? That... This is your person. So what is the problem here? Well, this person chooses to not make a choice because of the difficult circumstances they're in and they're afraid to take that leap of faith uh, in fear of the consequences that would happen in their life from that decision. So they choose to kind of play it like this with you. So there are times, Sagittarius, yes, they can contact as well. 
but they choose not to. This is a strategy to kind of get you hooked and jealous, okay? And always kind of thinking about them because um, if you think about it, when when people feel hurt or rejected or they're like, why didn't they call or I haven't heard from them in a while, you're, you, you know, usually people are like waiting for, you know, they start thinking about them more, worrying, like, why didn't they call? And then it becomes this thing where when they do contact, they kind of like that uh, feeling that they get from you. Whereas like, what's been going on where I haven't heard from you. It's like, it fulfills and strokes a little bit of their ego. So just be forewarned of that. So let's see what uh, action they're going to take here, Sag. We have the Queen of Cups, Three of Swords, and the Devil card. Tell me what the Devil. Seven of Wands, Wheel. This person's not wanting anything to change in this uh, cycle you've been in with them. Uh, not for the time being, okay? Queen of Cups, Three of Swords is they're kind of wanting you to long for them here. And this is actually starting to get to them too, which is starting... Uh, they're not understanding why they're getting more um, aggressive and angry in their nor their other life right so whatever they're doing at work or home whatever they're starting to get this like pent-up aggression and they're not really understanding why but in the action here it's saying this the wheel turns they're starting to understand uh this connection okay and they're starting to understand why so they're denying their own self and really they just put a veil over their face and denied anything uh real to them uh, in regards to you, you know, they know they love, they love you or have feelings for you, but to make the decision to actually move forward, they just don't want to look at that. They're like, no, well, they'll always be there, right? No, they're starting to understand their connection because it's very extreme because what they're doing here, three of swords, devil, this is a situation where this becomes very hurtful for them. They're not, they're not seeing that it's making them feel in their emotions longing more for you and they're getting they're taking it out by being aggressive in their life and it's getting pent up to where this is pushing forward here they're fighting the start of a new cycle here and doing things different but the thing is you can't fight it you know uh, the only thing we can count on is change and things are changing a new cycle's beginning tell about this uh queen of cups please <clears throat> Seven of Swords, hiding it from you. Eight of Swords, eight, Ace of Wands. They're, they're not letting you know. This is completely hidden from you that this person is, they're longing for you and more and more they start thinking about you more. So whatever you are going through, now this person is starting to get that ripple effect. They're starting to feel your energy, always think about you, and it's starting to be really intense for them. Tell me this wheel star star page of pentacles yeah this is kind of a soul lesson type uh thing happening here where the universe kind of stepped in and they it, they've went about this and how they treat people and, and things like this not just your relationship but other relationships uh where they tend to be selfish and self-focused okay and <clears throat> they needed they needed a lesson you can't keep doing that and repeating that and creating karmic debt and it will because it will be repaid you know to you in full so what happens is whether good or bad whatever you do right so as this person does this they get it paid back and as well uh, a new cycle is starting to begin here okay and so things are pushing forward but they're learning a lesson here and starting to understand Definitely understanding this connection, right? Getting uh, downloads from the new universe as well about soulmate, you being a possible soulmate or twin flame, whatever the soul connection is. So your judgment lovers, chariots, yeah, that they have to make a decision. You know, sometimes uh, the universe will create situations and doors we need to walk through and doors that are open to and available to us. We need to go to those and leave others behind. Um, 
If we choose to just sit there and wallow in it uh, and not make a decision, the universe will light fire under us and keep us pushing forward. So things will start to happen serendipitously. But this person is being forced to make a choice here because there are things with the chariot. This is all major arcana, which means things in their personal environment and in their situation with this connection are now starting to be challenged, which means they're going through things in their uh, situation. If it's a third party, you know, uh, random things are happening to put more pressure where they have to make a decision. Okay. This can mean conflict, uh, things happening where it's like, you know, really tears them up to the core. So it's all just about learning and uh, developing as they go through this new cycle, but they are headed towards you here, uh, wanting to come forward, waiting for the right time to really come towards you here. So we're going to see where this is headed in the extended reading. Uh, we're going to see uh, what action this person is going to take in the future, what they're actually going to do. Um, go over the outcome as well as details surrounding the situation. So if this is resonating with you, you're more than welcome to join me. But if not, if this is your last stop, thank you so much for joining me. I love you guys. I'll see you next time. Okay, bye.